Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of uh, Russlandsvarene. We will be continuing talking about my favorite subject, uh, the languages of Russia. Today we're going to talk about the Chuvash language spoken in the Republic of Chuvashia in Russia. Today's guest is of course himself a Chuvash and a language teacher. Welcome, Al uh, welcome Alexander Blinov. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, how do you say hello in Chuvash? We say, uh, we can say it in different way. Uh, first of all, it's Salam as uh, other mm. Turkic language, uh, in mm. other Turkic languages. But also we can say in just in Chuvash uh, way, uh, in Chuvash manner, uh, Avani, it's just, it, it's a question. Uh, are you okay? Something like that. Mm -hmm. mm. So, yeah, but uh, but uh, first, for those who doesn't know anything about uh, uh, the Chuvash people and their language, who are they? Yeah, okay. Chuvash people is a people living in the middle Volga um, in Russia, in the Russian Federation, and there are about one million uh, uh, and half Chuvash, and uh, about more than million. Um, uh, Chuvash considered uh, uh, the Chuvash language as a mother tongue, and uh, uh, Chuvash uh, language belongs uh, to uh, Turkish languages, Turkic languages, sorry. And uh, but there is a big difference between uh, Ch Chuvash and Turkic languages. But maybe I will speak a little bit later about it. And uh, uh, just to show you how does it function, my language, I can say, for example, I can present myself in Chuvash, if you don't mind, of course. Avani, ebe Alexander Yatla, manon na Chuvash Yajedibur, Albaruch, ebe Shumash Kardapurnadap, ebe Italian Chirinje, tada Esperante Chirinje, tada Chuvash Chirinje, Verindiedip, Verindigin Pulzaish Ledip. Okay. I say uh, I said I have said just some words about myself. You you could um, understand some words as Italian and Esperanto, maybe mm. some some international words you can find in my speech and my mm. uh, cool uh, uh, little speech, small speech and uh, uh, yes. But just to make you uh, to to give you some idea how does it function, my language? How do how does it, um, how it sounds. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, yeah, and, uh, but uh, yeah, that's really interesting and we're probably going to get so, some more of those, that will be great. But, uh, but you yourself is a Chuvash, you speak uh, Chuvash often, did you grow up with it and did you have some problems in uh, preserving it growing up? Yes, of course, I'm Chuvash, and um, I suppose now I, I, I speak Chuvash um, well. But um, to tell my story, uh, up to three years, uh, when I was three years old, uh, I my first language b b b was Chuvash, but uh, then my uh, family, my parents, uh, decided to move uh, to Cheboksari from village to uh, to the city, to a city, and uh, here I uh, went to uh, uh, kindergarten, and uh, in the evening when my mother come, uh, came, uh, came to take me, uh, uh, the teacher uh, told her that um, she's very sorry, but uh, she uh, um, I uh, had uh, some problem because I didn't uh, got uh, didn't get in touch with other uh, children uh, among me. I, I was uh, all the day alone, and she, she decided I'm a little bit um, strange. So uh, uh, after. After that, after uh, I, and then I saw my mother, uh, and I I cried in Chuvash, "Anya, anya, kunda nigam da kalash ma palmes, mami, mami, he nobody can speak." Um, and uh, then my uh, parents decided to uh, change the language, the language, and uh, began to speak to me only in Russian, and then I went to Russian school. Uh, 
my friends uh, with my friends I spoke in and Russian and so on so on so uh, I could uh, I had the possibility to uh, speak uh, with my uh, to speak Chuvash with my uh, 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 both grandmothers uh, because uh, they uh, don't uh, speak uh, Russian and uh, yes of course uh, uh, I uh, listened to uh, listen to my uh, parents speaking um, uh, between them in, in Chuvash. Uh, so, and uh, maybe about um, 11 years ago, I decided to uh, to return to my native language, to my mother tongue, because I mm, felt I need it. I need to uh, understand, to speak it better and uh, to promote uh, this language. Mm -hmm. So now you speak it every day. With your family, yeah, of course, yes. With my with my son, I speak uh, it every day, and of course, with my friends, uh, other friends, uh, uh, with uh, with the people uh, who uh, is capable to to answer in Chuvash, I try to speak in uh, Chuvash, of course. Mm -hmm. That's great. So, but uh, yeah, well, I actually been to uh, Chiboksari yet last year, and I also got this. Oh flight. really? Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. Great. I collect uh, flag, uh, Russian flags, and uh, I think like the Chuvash flag is actually my favorite one. I like the colors. And oh, the... thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I like. I like it too. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, it's interesting because uh, when I was in Chiboksari last year, like I could hear a lot of. Uh, uh, Chuvash speech in the street, like normal people would speak it. Of course, other people would tell me when other people were speaking Chuvash because I can not distinguish uh, other languages in Russian and English. So, but it was interesting to see that the 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 language is seems to be a, a, a very alive in uh, Chibuksari. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think uh, the language is uh, alive, and I, I'm how to say it. I'm proud of it, and it's very important to preserve the language. But uh, the the situation is not so um, enjoying, I say, because uh, the uh, the language is um, uh, uh, has been lost uh, nowadays, and uh, we have to do something to change um, uh, the uh, the situation and uh, um, i don't know i can't speak really too much what with what we should do and uh, uh, but uh, f uh, for now i think uh, the chuvash language is is spoken by many people but unfortunately, uh, the young people um, don't. Uh, how to say it? Uh, the Russian language began the, the most important language in every uh, in every sphere in uh, in the every field of our life, and uh, uh, many young people uh, uh, refuse. They refuse uh, to um, to speak the language and to um, give the language to their children. It's a, it's a great problem, not mm. only f uh, f for for Chuvash people, but also for other um, people uh, from uh, in the Rus Russian Federation. Mm -hmm. mm. But uh, yeah, but uh, is. Uh... But uh, is there a, an interest of learning the language among uh, non-Chuvash people who are not uh, native speakers? Is there some Russians that wants to learn Chuvash at the uh, at school, for instance? Now, how to say it? The price, yes, of course, there are some some Russians, some non-Chuvash uh, uh, who would like to learn Chuvash. It's normal. But uh, most uh, mostly you know, the people, uh, the Russians, uh, don't want to learn Chuvash because they don't uh, consider it uh, is a nece necessary language for for their career, career for for, the, for their life. Not only Ch uh, Russian people, but also Chuvash people. 
and uh, it, uh, it's it's very great problem. But uh, I, I I think it's very important to understand that. Uh, the languages as Chuvash and uh, as a language in Russia uh, has not uh, has not pre has not prestigious. Uh, I don't know if I said well in English, and um, uh, they the people don't uh, the people uh, feel no need in in uh, in everyday life uh, to know these languages and. Uh, uh, only um, uh, those who want uh, to um, to understand maybe a little bit to know a little bit more culture Chuvash culture uh, such kind of people yes they they learn Chuvash but normally it's not uh, the language uh, to um, to desire I see I, I I I would say yeah. But is it mandatory to learn Chuvash in at schools in uh, Chuvashia? Sorry, could it, is it uh, uh, obligatory or mandatory? Ah, for... no. Uh, unfortunately, no. It's not obligatory. Uh, yes, uh, some years ago, about three, three uh, up to three years ago, it was uh, it was. Um, uh, obligatory to uh, every uh, pu people, student, uh, to to know a little bit or to uh, um, to attend uh, Chuvash courses. But now it's it's uh, uh, it's not like this because uh, the people should um, um, uh, decide if. Uh, who or if uh, she or he uh, wants to mm, to learn Chuvash or their children mm. uh, uh, will learn Chuvash or not? It's it's not good in my opinion because uh, the people uh, lose uh, mm, um, because now we we de uh, as we mm, divide the the. Uh, uh, the citizens, how to say it, the citizens of the Chuvash Republic in, in, in two parts. Uh, in Chuvashes, who uh, you are Chuvashes, you should learn Chuvash, it's your mm. language. And you, we are not Chuvashes, we don't need uh, your language and uh, we don't um, uh, don't uh, disturb me because it's your language, it's your problems. I think it's very big problem and it's uh, mm, it's divide the society in, in into uh, into groups it's, it's not good for me mm. so mm -hmm. mm. like this yeah that's uh, sad to hear especially children but that's that's always the case with the children not uh, seeing the use of learning a language here yeah, I know all about that but uh, but let us uh, but let us talk about the Chuvash language itself. Uh, uh, how, uh, as you said, uh, Chuvash is a Turkic language. Like, but uh, how does uh, Chuvash uh, differs from other uh, Turkic languages? Yes, it's it's very unique language um, uh, among uh, other Turkic languages because it's. Uh, uh, mm, uh, how to say it? Now, uh, we can uh, the other Turkic uh, 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 people uh, don't understand our language, and we too. If if you don't know, for example, t uh, Turkish or Tata, we uh, we could understand some words, but it's very difficult to understand uh, the speech or. or um, uh, the, the language, uh, and we 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 uh, we should learn and and uh, especially uh, these languages, and the f uh, in the um, the important features I, I would say it was it's phonetically uh, 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 differences phonetical differences and uh, um, um, how to say it. Uh, uh, yes, phonetic features. I would say, for example, if if you if uh, we want to say in uh, uh, Turkish or in 
Tata, uh, girl, uh, we should say Kuz. Uh, instead of it, in Chuvash, we say her. K, uh, uh, K. Um, uh, how to say, the, uh, transform, uh, is transforming in um, her and uh, the uh, the basic phonetic law is uh, that um, rule that uh, the um, uh, the uh, is um, is how to say it um, changes for uh, r. Hmm. For example, as a uh, example, it's um, in Tata uh, biz biz in Turkish biz uh, it means uh, we. And in Chuvash, Ebir. Ebir, the same phonetic rule. And we, we should consider always when we um, learn, uh, learn other Turkic languages. We, 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 of course, at the first time, at the first, uh, in, uh, f, f, uh, how to say it in English, a little bit difficult to find uh, necessary words. And um, so, uh, as a, uh, there is another example uh, when uh, she uh, is, trans uh, is transforming in uh, L. Uh, for example, in uh, tooth, teeth, in uh, Tata, it's Tish, in Chuvash, Shol. Uh, stone. In um, in Tatan is uh, Tash, in Chuvash Chul, and so on. So yeah, of course uh, uh, we have differences in vocabulary, and also a little bit uh, in uh, uh, in the grammar, and uh, uh, and uh, in fact it's very difficult to understand each other, uh, and. Another feature, in my opinion, uh, which is very uh, which is very important, it's religion. We are um, we are uh, uh, for a long time uh, Chuvash uh, Chuvash people uh, has been uh, um, pagans, and uh, for example Tatars uh, and uh, uh, most of uh, Turkic uh, peoples. Uh, were and are um, Muslims, or Islamic people. Mm. So, and uh, of course, it it it, it influ influence influence, mm, mm, uh, and uh, and we we are we uh, Chuvash. Uh, um, feel them a little bit uh, outside of the uh, Turkic um, world. Mm -hmm. But uh, in general, we, we try to, to... We are in the middle, I would say, between um, uh, Turkic peoples and uh, Finno Greek people. Yeah. Peoples. But, yeah. Some... but now you are, uh, for the word you were looking for, you are now Orthodox, like the Russians. Yes. yes. Uh, besides, we we are orthodox uh, as a uh, religions. Yeah, of course, there are some people uh, 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 consider themselves uh, as uh, pagans, but normally uh, the mo the most people uh, um, is uh, is orthodox, of course, right? Mm -hmm. And you yourself? No, I'm how to say. It's not so important for me. Mm. I, uh, in fact, I, um, I consider only religion very important. If people want, uh, if uh, if the um, uh, person wants to believe, uh, to have faith for for something, it's it's good. Mm. I don't think it's. But uh, for instance, uh, uh, f uh, nowadays, of course, actually, I'd like to know more, much more about um, uh, Chuvash uh, pagan paganism. I would say because it's part of of the culture, mm -hmm. natural culture. I would say, I would say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, and I think it's very important to to know much more about it.
Mm. Yeah, and it's a really interesting thing because you mentioned that you seems to have a lot in common with the Finnic uh, people surrounding you. And um, I talked, uh, I talked to your friend uh, Andre mm-hmm. Chimacheyev, uh, who who I did an interview with about the Mari language uh, some months ago, and he told me that uh, while he was sitting on a bus, this was in Chibaksari, uh, he heard some, uh, he heard someone he thought were speaking Hilmari, but it turns out to, that they spoke Chuvash. Is it true that there are some similarities between Mari and Chuvash? Uh, you know, unfortunately, I don't speak Mari language uh, yet, but I hope one day I will learn it because uh, I'm interested in languages and I, well, I want to learn uh, the languages of uh, our neighbors. Uh, Tatar and Chuvas, first of all, maybe a little bit later, Erza and uh, Udmurt. I have m- m- very many great plans, but w- w- we'll see. And um, in Russian, uh, there is a proverb, scratch a Russian and you will find a Tatar. Mm. I would complete this uh, saying, scratch a Tatar and you will find a Chuvash. But it's not a finish. I would I would add, add scratch a chuvash and you will find a mari. <laughs> so by this I'd like to say that in the middle Volga um, uh, there was a, some kind of cauldron uh, where many people uh, were uh, were boiled, boiled were cooked and. Um, uh, there were m- mutual influence uh, uh, between the uh, among these uh, uh, peoples uh, phonetically, and uh, uh, in uh, I would say in sp- how to say in speech melody, mm. I find uh, a lot in common uh, between Ch- uh, Chuvash and Mari, and I'm not not also in uh, b- between Chuvash and Mari, but also between. Chuvash and uh, Tata language. Yes, of course, you, you, uh, the people. Mm, yes, of course, there uh, there is difference. There is difference for sure. But uh, when you listen to to the people speaking, it's li- you, you you have to mm, to to try to understand. You have to to be very attentive to understand in uh, in which language they are uh, speaking. So. I would say that uh, th- there was influence, mutual influence between Mari language and Chuvash, uh, Chuvash languages. Uh, maybe it's normal. Mm. We, we, here we, uh, in Vol- Middle Volga, we, we, we have, uh, we have been lived for, for, for many centuries uh, in the same place, and uh, we. Contact uh, uh, one with other, and it's normal. Hmm. Is in as in balcony, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, and uh, also it's a very, there's a very interesting history to the Chuvash people because the Chuvash people claims to be descendants of the Turkic uh, Bulgars, that uh, the tribe that fold, uh, founded the the first Bulgarian Empire. Uh, in the seventh uh, century and AD, uh, although the Br- uh, Bulgarians today are Slavic, uh, uh, are there still some sim- similarities between uh, Chuvash people and uh, Bul- today's Bulgarian in sense of culture, for instance? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I would say not only Chuvash but also other peoples are descendants of the Turkic uh, Bulgar. In my opinion, but uh, maybe early Chuvash people could um, preserved uh, the language uh, uh, more or less similar to to the ancient or proto-Bulgarian uh, language. And uh, I think um, it's very difficult to search many um, similarities. Nowadays, between Chuvash and uh, Bulgarian peoples, because uh, we are separated uh, a thousand years ago, and uh, we were 
uh, we have been influenced uh, influenced by different um, neighbor uh, peoples, uh, and uh, uh, we we have been mixed with them. And uh, yes, of course, uh, uh, maybe we can find some similarities in uh, in in broader style. In uh, we can find some. Uh, some words in common, and but it's uh, it's uh, really I think we we have much more um, similarities to uh, uh, to um, uh, Mari people or Tata people than to uh, modern Bulgarian people. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it seems that it's too far apart. That seems to be it. But, uh, but yeah, let's uh, have a, one last question. Uh, uh, what's the future of the Chuvash people and the Chuvash language, in your opinion? The future, it will be, of course. <laughs> but it's, it depends on, uh, civil, on the civil society, uh, how we can pursue, uh, how we can... Um, uh, convince uh, the authorities and uh, one on one hand and uh, 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 the people on the other hand uh, to understand the importance of the Chuvash language and the importance of the uh, language diversity in the world, uh, in my opinion. And uh, of course, we need so... so uh, a lot to do. Uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, uh, to understand that uh, uh, the children, uh, the uh, how to say, the the, uh, the language in uh, uh, that uh, the children uh, will speak uh, will be the the language of our our uh, people of the Chuvash people. If uh, the if our children uh, will speak Russian, of course, I mean, 20, 30 uh, uh, years, or uh, the Chuvash people uh, uh, sh uh, shift uh, the language and uh, we, uh, we'll, we will lose uh, our um, Chuvash language. Mm. Uh, uh, that's why we need to, um, to protect, uh, how to say, to to give uh, to our children to the possibility, the opportunity uh, to learn languages. And we should organize a kindergarten in Chuvash, in Chuvash, not just to, to, to have one, uh, one lesson a, a, a week, but just to make them speak among them in Chuvash. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this is very important. It's very important, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems that that's the only way is uh, is to make uh, the entire school in Chuvash and in the language. That seems to be the only way in in many regards. But but yeah, uh, but I think that was all. Uh, thanks a lot, um, uh, Alexander, for coming on the show. You're welcome. Yeah, and you're that, welcome. Yeah, and how do you say goodbye in Chuvash? Siva Bular. Siva Bular. Siva Pular. 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 Siva Pular. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Siva Pular. Be healthy. It be... means be healthy. <laughs> okay. Literally, uh, I mean, uh, be healthy. Okay. Uh, yeah, just like in Russian. Uh, yeah. I see. Okay. Can you uh, repeat that? Yes. Can you repeat uh, uh, how you said it? Ah, okay. I'm going to repeat. Yes. Siva Pular. S no. Siva Pular. Ah, okay. Siva Pula. Siva Pula. <laughs>